Madeline, I know you had a question. Madeline Most. I know what a Vilmos Stigman film looks like, like a Sven Nyqvist, like a Bruno de Bonnell, like, like a Stephen Gold, like what I know their style. Now I find it really hard in digital to see people's lighting style. It all looks the same to me. Are you losing your style? Okay, I, I resist actually to, to have a different style in my digi digital photography. I, I, I did two, two or three or two and a half movies basically with digital cameras and I didn't change my style. I light exactly the same way as I lit my movie, movies. It's easier for me because I have 50 years experience doing that. Now to learn, you know, how to, to light digitally, which is basically is a minimalistic approach actually for, for many people. And I think the right thing to do for cinematographers to try to, try to light digital the way you did actually film. Mm. And if you are a new person, and then I am trying to teach actually the students to go back to the old silent movies, how the black and white was lit, or film noir, how it was lit, all the artistic movies which they did in the past, and try to learn that if you didn't have a chance to learn it. And you will be much happier to light when you are really lighting and, and not just turning the digital camera on and say, I'm ready. Because that necessarily is the right mood to create actually for that certain scene. And you, you can become so lazy that we are losing basically the artistic films of the future. So I think we have to learn that. It's a very sad uh, question because uh, so it's so true uh, that we have to walk like like we was walking in the film, but we have to forget the film because the film is finished now. It's it's if it's not finished exactly now, it will be finished in uh, two or three years time. Now uh, we have to try the, our best with the with the new tool, mm -hmm. and uh, also if we are not happy, and also if everything look the same, mm -hmm. but this is the sad reality. If a producer says. Well, we're using HD. You don't need to light. Mm. That producer doesn't know what they're talking about. Because lighting is not for exposure. With 500 ASA film, you didn't really have to light for exposure, but you did light to help tell the story, to create the mood, or to make somebody look better. Um, and we need to do that just as much with HD as we did with film. Mm. And I feel sorry for anyone having to deal with a producer who doesn't really understand that. One of the things we were saying is that the presence of the monitor on the set in digital has really transformed at least what you guys, you were saying, Ruben, your job as a gaffer. When I find sometimes when we're sort of setting up, it's almost when you're working with digital, you need the camera there sort of to start with almost, and you're very reliant on having it there because you can get the basics in but you need to almost see what's there and then build upon that. Um, so I think, yes, the monitor, you know, has sort of completely changed that when we're sort of seeing what we're, we're getting, you know. I think one of the interesting points that you made was, is everything starting to look a bit the same? And I think, you know, and you're not aware of styles, because I guess it, one thing that it makes me think of is that, that you're so aware of every light source, everything becomes very finely balanced. And I wonder, actually, that's something to be aware of when you're, you know, you're working. Whereas before, when we lit for film, we, you know, I'm, you lit using your, your eye predominantly and you just you looked at a space. And there's probably maybe more sort of happy accidents in there that give something maybe a bit of freedom in its look rather than something that's overly sort of crafted, you know. One of the things I like about digital is that if you're lighting a scene and you want it to be really dark, and when you were shooting on film, you, you would make it really dark, but boy, I, are we going to see into that shadow or not? And with digital, you know. And so I think you can allow things to go much darker because you're sure of what you're going to have. And I, I think that's, I like that actually. Because I think you, you can be much more daring. Vilmos has always been daring, but... Um, <laughs> It used to make me very nervous. And, uh, <laughs> but one of the problems, I don't like a lot of monitors on the set because then everybody has some comment. And I, I find that distracting and tiresome and slows things down. Uh, the fewer monitors, the better. 
about the, the monitor, I think it's a new co cooperation between Gaffer and, uh, and DP. If I'm on the set and if I uh, left the set to go to the tent where the monitor is, uh, I lost my, uh, my position and I lost my position with the director. And uh, I find that it's almost impossible to to uh, to leave the camera today, and because that the the gaffer is so so important to be on the tent, <laughs> to be close in, more in, or less in the video tent uh, by by the time of the of the of the take, and after that uh, to have a debrief very quickly about what 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 he saw and what what I'm what I saw on the to the to the monitor to the small monitor with you the the grapher is is in the tent looking at the monitor yes. while you're at the camera yes. and then he comes and tells yes. you. Yes. No, I like to have a big monitor right next to the camera mm. for the reason that I cannot light anymore through the viewfinder because the viewfinders on all cameras and I really mean all digital cameras have still lousy viewfinders. Mm. You cannot really light through it. I mean, you can see the frame lines but that's about it. You cannot judge lighting, nothing. Mm. And another thing that which I liked about the way I shot my digital digital movies lately, with the Alexa as well as with the red camera, that we, I, I could immediately set almost like a, 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 a corrected image. And I, I really, really want to see that image, what I would like, it's, it's very close that at the end, when we do the final timing, it's going to be close enough for me to, to, to correct it. Well, we had a big screen, much bigger scene than what I was seeing on the set. Mm. And I could actually run into there sometimes if I had a question mark, you know, mm. and then and, and, and fix it there. Or at lunchtime, I went into that screening room and I wanted to see what I, I did before. And that's really a great thing to have. It, it's worth the money that truck, you know, with the monitor inside. So we can really, really collect your pictures mm -hmm. on the day when you are shooting. Yeah.